Hey there guys and welcome back to Banished. It's year 21, we're, we're still working on the build boarding house. I'm talking as a voiceover, post-production, because for some reason my microphone chose not to record today. So, I've got to try and commentate what I was doing about an hour ago. Um, yeah, the fishing dock has uh, is, is there, we need to build it, but we don't have enough people to work on it, so it's being held off on. But boarding house is important because I want more nomads to come and visit and to store nomads. I need somewhere for them to live. Store is not the right word there, but it's the word I'm going to use. I need somewhere for the nomads to live, and that means I need a boarding house. In terms of firewood, we did hit 300 last year, but then dropped back down to zero again before the end of the year. So we clearly need more than 300, which requires upping the limit, I believe. Yes, so we up the limit a couple to, well we actually be up it to a thousand because what's the point in having a limit on firewood, or at least a low limit on firewood, we might as well have it reasonably high, especially as we're not really using wood at the moment. And um, check some of the houses are cold because we're out of firewood, but that's not really a way to avoid that. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I'm doing something, I'm looking at the deer. Oh, I was seeing if I can fit a house in, I remember, yes. Uh, can I fit an extra little house in on this peninsula? And yes I can if I put it there. I can't get one in there. And I can't get one in the other orientation, but if I put it in exactly that location, I can fit it in with a path to it. So that's what I did. And there's the path. And there we go, it's an extra house. So the building jobs for this year are the boarding house, that house, and possibly something else, I can't remember. Um, we've also got the tunnel through the mountain, currently on pause, that will be built eventually. And we're trying to get more people on to working as stone cutters because we never have enough stone lying around. Uh, every building thing at the moment needs stone. We have plenty of wood and iron left, but stone is always a bit short. So up in the limits on those as well. The cattle situation is still problematic because we don't have enough. In fact, I think the, the one we have has died. But and also our schooling a schooling system. Currently the schoolhouse can hold 20 people, but we and it's currently got 15 in it, so we're gonna hit that limit pretty shortly. We're gonna need to look into a new schoolhouse in the next couple of years. Uh, for some reason I've decided to put a well in here. I don't need a well. The fact that I've not had a fire in 20 years suggests that I'm not going to have one and that I turned natural disasters off. But for some reason I've decided to put a well in anyway. So there you go. A path around it. To get the other side of the barn path. And then down the side of the stockpile. And who knows what I'm going to do next. It's a mystery. I'm, I'm finding out at the same time as you guys. So, oh, back to the boarding house. Still not got enough stone. Well, this is, this is thrilling entertainment. Um, <laughs> yeah, the... Boarding house it needs a lot of stone to be finished, but we do we are getting that stone in. It is it is happening. We just don't have enough people mining it. But in fact we do, we actually have like what eight at the moment. So we do have plenty of people mining stone, it's just not quick. It is not a quick process. Oh yes, I've seen that the cow has died. It is unfortunate. But oh well. Oh, the boarding house has all its stone and it's now being constructed. I'll turn off that field because that pasture, because there's no cow in it, so we don't need a herdsman working in it. Um, so I can put them working in the quarry. And I'm debating where to put new pastures, so I think I decided down here. Although, possibly at the time I wasn't thinking about pastures, I can't remember. I might have just been commenting on the stone that people were trying to dig up. We've had another person die of old age. That was the herbalist. Yes, our, uh, the one herbalist we have who is constantly kept as a state of 200 medicine. And our health and happiness suggest that is fine and we don't need anything else. Although, it's going to be worth in the next decade or so in game looking at a tavern. Because that happiness is going to start going down as I expand out. And there's a merchant on the way. Past the house that's currently under construction. Let's see what they deliver. What are they bringing with them? In they come to the trading post. And here we go. They have chickens. Yes. And I want chickens. Chickens are good. 
so we'll set him to bring cattle back with him next time because that's now the one thing we don't have while well, we get some chickens off of him so to get four chickens we need to spend 2,000 which I can only do with the coats because he doesn't want any food which is a little irritating but we have plenty of coats so I'm trying to balance it out so that I can use up the, warm, the, the wool coats over the warm coats that are worth more and harder to make but I make more of I don't want to have to restock the warm coats immediately if I use the wool coats I just turn off stocking them because we're not making them anymore so there we go, four chickens and set up on his way to bring back cattle next time so now we can put chickens in one of the pastures now I was a bit unhappy about this decision immediately after doing it because both those pastures were built with cattle in mind so they're massive possibly a little oversized for chickens but for now we'll put chickens over here in this pasture and set a herdsman to work there and it holds 50 chickens that pasture is way too oversized for its purposes but chickens lay eggs and once we kill them they all produce chickens so it's all good food meanwhile the house is still in progress the well still in progress I'm getting there with it but the boarding house is done so that's something so now it's a matter of again waiting for more stone to put the house in the well I'll set the other pastures to chickens although I'm not sure I ever actually end up putting chickens in there so we'll see meanwhile what, what else am I thinking I wonder is it just just commenting on this house? I was presumably just watching that house be built. The market. I, I think I commented on the market being quite full and having a lot of stuff, which is, you know, it's good. Yes, I've dropped the dropped the number of vendors down for each market to two rather than twelve, so that it only looks like I've got two out of four rather than two out of twenty-four, which was a bit ridiculous. So that's that's something. And then there's my I think that's my, my spare herdsman who I've got working somewhere, possibly. I put four herdsmen in even though I only needed three for now. Because I still haven't turned the last field on. I watch the stone house slowly be uh, slowly make progress in construction. So we wait for more stone but we have plenty of wood now plenty of iron and the firewood is doing okay but not brilliantly and we possibly need a third woodcutter they only seem to be able to make 300 firewood a year and we clearly need more than that to survive the winter which isn't ideal <laughs> so I've just turned off the wool coats in the trading post because we don't make them so we can't restock them and it will put eight coats back into our stockpile the, the eight spare wool coats we had left over and now considering getting through the mountain there's a lot of iron left in our mine um, I guess that's just because we don't have any no one has any time to move it elsewhere at the moment so they might as well just stop pilot there as good a place as any and the house is now being built the well is still waiting for stone but the house is done and it's just a couple of build cycles left and some people will move in and there we go the 21 year old miner or 20, yeah, 21 year old miner and 15 year old student. I commented on the names, but I can't quite read their names, they're a bit too small on my screen to see. So, oh well, I guess we're, guess we're not going to go with that. And yes, the, the school has a still at three quarters capacity, so it needs to be considered in the future. In terms of population, the population is growing, as shown by the fact that a 21 and a 15 year old just moved in together. We're now getting the youngest ages again moving in to new houses. We were in mid 30s and 40s the other uh, couple of episodes back, so. So we've got it back down to the 20s is good. Doesn't mean we can stop building houses, we always need more houses, but we can slow down a bit. Because we did just build quite a few there in that, that new estate. In terms of the pasture, yep, it's getting 6 eggs so far, which given we've only had the chickens half a year is pretty good. 12 eggs, doubled its egg production. And considering the other pasture, but there's, there's no point really splitting them 
especially at the moment when we've only got four chickens. They've not actually made any babies yet, so there's no point trying to split them into two separate pastures. And I'm thinking about future pastures, where do I want the cows to go? And I was going to have another sheep pasture down there, so I think the plan now is a chicken pasture on the left of that ridge and a, a second chicken pasture and a third sheep pasture on the right of the ridge. So you have to go through the tunnel to get to all of them and I'll need a second tunnel to get to the left of the ridge to get on the river bend. But that's fine. That's a job for future me. Oxville's future. And the, the new house has no firewood because we had already run out by the time it was built. But the well is under construction now. It's got all its materials. Just needs building. Pretty useless job because it's not like we're ever going to use it, but we're well with it. So I guess it's something at least. And then I'm considering how. what's the optimal way to get more houses in here? I, think I work out I can get three in there or two further along to the west, I guess. If I want. But realistically, probably not going to build more houses there next. I might as well go for the centre of town around the original marketplace. Keep everything a bit more centralised first. But we'll see. The well is almost done. If the builders ever get back to it. But it's now early spring of year 22. So we'll stop here. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.